All right, tell me if I'm correct. Stormforge having all these DLCs, pre-order bonuses, day one bonuses, Naruto bonuses, all this shit coming out of the wazoo for if you buy the game day one, you get Boruto Uzumaki, Saruto, and Kakashi Hachike Hokage outfit, as well as early access to the Naruto the last playable characters. All right, so we, they're giving us out all this DLC, all this bullshit, but at the end of the day, when you get into the game, as it's been so in all the other previous games, if you're rocking that DLC outfit along, you're, you're over here whooping ass online with the Kakashi Hatsuke Hokage outfit looking fresh as fuck. You're over here whooping ass back and forth online. And you send a dude a message saying like, yo, how you like that Hokage outfit? And he's like, what Hokage outfit? Yes, this is what I'm talking about, people. For the past fucking Storm game, CC2 has made it so if the person you're fighting doesn't have the costume, they can't see that shit. So I'm basically like, Where they at, dude? to me, that makes no fucking sense how you could put a DLC in the game but make it not viewable if the person has not purchased it. One of the main reasons why I like DLC costumes is they're fucking awesome. And I get to rub that shit in people's faces who I'm fighting against. Like, I just want to rub that shit in the person's face. So, I want them to be able to see me styling on them with that Kakashi Hokage outfit. But, according to CC2, I guess that really doesn't matter to them. Because, in the other person's eyes, they're just going to be seeing a standard Kakashi fighting them. And not even the costume. So, I mean, all this stuff is cool and all, giving that where you get a playable character Boruto and Serata for getting the day one edition I mean shit like if the person that doesn't have the day one edition if I'm using Boruto are they gonna put like PTS Naruto in that bitch like uh, is that what it's come to because in the last games you made it so if the other person doesn't have it shit they can't see it so I definitely want to see them use this power of the PS4 I mean it's PS4 you guys need to make it so that everyone can see the costumes that everybody is playing with regardless of whether they bought it or not because that could even push sales like i could be whooping some ass with the costume and that might push a sale just because how beast i look whooping that ass so i mean that's just my mini rant on what cyber connect 2 really needs to do all this shit is cool but at the end of the day if i can't have the satisfaction of knowing somebody saw me whoop that ass in the hokage outfit then what the fuck dude like it only looks good on my side what the fuck dude so tell me what you guys think in the comments below do you think that they should actually implement this in considering that it's they're going hard or going home they're big bang storm four i mean this is expected see you guys later thank you for watching leave a like on the video i'm out such as that so with that being said i come with the proposition that maybe it would be a good idea to put Naruto Storm Revolution on the PlayStation Now game streaming service that PlayStation Now runs through the PS3, PS4, and Think Vita. Now, this would allow Narutubers and people in general to just stay on one console at a time and not have to switch back and forth. Pay, you can either pay for a subscription and get access.